Yesterday was a big day for us. John Tesh and Mary Hart returned to host ET. We had a great time with them. And how about this Mary and John reminiscing about day one of their TV partnership. Do you remember your first day on the show? I do. Well, uh, you know, we just happened to have dug out of the vaults the that one. very first day. So take a look at this. John Tesh will be sitting in this seat from now on, and uh, it sure is fun to be working with you now. It's great to be here on my favorite show with my favorite gal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I think I think I wrote that down, you know, but you can see my, my legs are like going like this and I'm holding my hands like, like this, but you were you were very gracious from the very beginning. And you know what I like? We're both a whole lot more blonde now than we were then. Yeah, yeah. So you, we're, yeah. Mu we're much more natural now. We really had a brother and sister relationship and that was so fun for me. But all eyes are focused on this guy called Oscar. Ten years together, dozens of award shows. But what I didn't know was that John almost got fired because of me. Hey, listen, we're sending you to body language school. And I said, no, you're not. And they said, yeah, if you want to keep your job, you're going to go to body language school in Dallas for four days. And I said, well, why? He said, because you're not being nice to Mary. And I said, what are you talking about? I love Mary. And so I, I think I was just trying to be hip or something like that, put my tongue in my cheek, whatever. Join us tomorrow for the inside story on Elvis Presley's mystical beliefs. You know, I'd roll my eyes at a story or something, too, and they, they said, it's coming off like you're, you're, you're not happy with me, you don't like Mary. Oh, we're rolling all right. So I got to body language school, and they had all these tapes of these, like, 15-second segments of me after stories, and they, and they edited them all together, and sure enough, I was being a jerk. I mean, that's like a producer's thing, right, guys? So I had to become a different person, and I did, and that's when I had so much respect for you because you put up with me. We all saw a change in John in the middle of his decade-long run on E.T. That's when he met his future wife, actress Connie Selica. <laughs> kind of became this little puppy dog. I was I worthless. mean, it, it yeah. was I was, about yeah. John falling in love yeah, I was a, with I was, Connie. Yeah, I was a bowl of mush. Oh, yeah, it yeah. was it was yeah. great to see. And, and then, of course, I remember when Prima was born. Yeah. She is uh, every bit as beautiful as her mom. And look at these legs. These legs, Mary, look at that. <laughs> Good work, Prem. These legs are insured for $1 million each. <laughs> and she's ready for her new job. Thank you. Yay! And look how that beautiful baby has grown up. Here is your gorgeous, oh gorgeous Prima. It's so nice to see you here today with your dad. Prima, I love you. you know, John, she looks a lot like her mom. Thank God. <laughs> that, yeah, we, we got really blessed with that. John said goodbye to E.T. in 1996 to focus on his music career full time. He has four gold albums and two Grammy nominations. In his new book, Relentless, John shares his near-death battle with prostate cancer. He says he owes his good health to faith and is very much looking forward to the future. It's pretty unbelievable, John. We've been sitting here, we have laughed together, we've almost shed a few tears together, but it's just great to see you again. Yeah, it's my honor to be with you. Ah, it's so great. Mine too. 